yourself, Bill. Well, Bill, I think that means you start off. I think that means you're, it's your cue, Will. <laughs> well, hey, here lies a listen to me. You ain't the girl that you promised to be. Didn't you say it always be true? Yeah, so you won't lie with Mr. Brown. And now when the life is stuck in the town, the people say to never trust you. And throw up your hands, babe, I gotta go. Give me those things and give me back my diamond ring. Say, Mr. Brown, and that's your love love. And throw in your hands, babe, I gotta go. I was a good man when I had the door. So it's goodbye, Miss Fizer. I'm going to leave you. You know what I know. I'm the bell with the do-do-do. No, no, no. So sing a little song. Travel along, just travel along. Give me a good day, baby, I'm on my way. Goodbye, Miss Fizer, Jane. Autumn 
won't feel Poor gal will do quite the same Well, my gal, she rides an old hay wagon But she's getting there just the same messages, you know? So we have to be careful of that, Will. Yeah, well, better get ready for next week then. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Billy, I mean, you've been sitting and reading all summer, basically, right? Yes, I have, yeah, Just Judge. sitting yeah. and reading, yeah. yeah. Getting ready for the school year to begin. I'm reading history textbooks. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't it, Patrick? <laughs> Someone uh, asked us earlier if we knew uh, a song called The Wild Colonial Boy. And we, we said we had heard of the song, but uh, vaguely, vaguely, but... And we have sung it once or twice, honestly, but we're going to try it again. And uh, so if we blow a chord or two in this, and just go uh, three, and, and just miss a few words, you know. That's half the course in any song. Does anyone out there, does anyone know the, the song The Wild Colonial Boy? Has anyone ever heard it before? Good. Raise your hand if you have. Come on, okay. this is class. We've got to find out. All right, quiz well, here at the end. If you haven't noticed, you have to sing along with us. We need all the help we can get here, you know, so sing along the Wild Colonial Boy. Father's pride and 
John Green, how long have you been married, John? Oh, no, honestly. 45 years, is it? 44? <laughs> to the wrong one. Well, you better, you better get the, back, the figure straight here. What better choice? Maybe it's wishful thinking an extra year. <laughs> well, you, yeah, that was a good recovery, wasn't it? Hey, where, where are the placement here? Where, get, them, get them down. We did a wedding uh, some years ago down uh, down Norwell. And they brought up the grandfather and the grandmother, and they said they've been married 50 years. And everyone yells out, speech, speech. And the old guy gets up and says, 50 years with the wrong woman. <laughs> <laughs> and she punches him right in the gut. <laughs> that, that's what John was remarking about, one of our great lines. Not ours, I mean. <laughs> Well, I, my lead into, the, into this next song is what better person in the band to sing about Bachelor with than John Green. It's a segue, George. Yeah, well, yeah. This is uh, it's kind of a Zen moment, you know what I mean? It's, uh, you have to reach a little bit for this, but uh, all right. Friends share it's her, I'd like to win. If she come and have a life. 
this list up, Patrick? Uh, he, he did. <laughs> I, I, he did. I, right? Well, I have to tell you, I don't, I just arrived back from two weeks in Ireland. And we, we had a grand trip. It was really wonderful. Uh, and things have really come along over there. But I'll tell you, it's still pretty scary sometimes to watch the Irish at work. <laughs> <laughs> no offense. It's uh, one, of, one of their endearing qualities. But, uh, <laughs> even at McDonald's. If it isn't your job yes. being done, right? No. We stopped for lunch in Tralee, and there's a McDonald's in Tralee. Believe it or not, a bunch of Irish kids looked like any McDonald's here in the States, except for the confusion behind the counter. <laughs> <laughs> Some things just don't change. Well, it's called quaint. Yeah. Quaint. This is a story about the world of work for one Irishman on one day. Well, dear boss, I write this note to you to tell you of me plight. For at the time of writing, I am not a pretty sight. My body is all black and blue, my face a deathly gray. I write this note to tell you why I'm not at work today. On the 14th floor, some bricks I had to clear But to toss them down from such a height was not a good idea The foreman wasn't very pleased, he is an awful sod He said I'd have to carry them down ladders in me hard uh -oh. Well, now moving all these bricks by hand, it was so awfully slow So I hoisted up a barrel and secured a rope below But in my haste to do the job, I was too blind to see that a barrel full of building bricks was heavier than me. So then when I untied the rope, the barrel fell like lead, and clinging tightly to the rope, I started up instead. Well, I shot up like a rocket, but to my dismay I found that halfway up I met the blooming barrel coming down. Well, the barrel broke me shoulder as to the ground it sped. Oh. And when I reached the top, I hit the bully with me head. Oh. Still clinging tightly to the rope, it was a mighty blow. The barrel spilled out half its bricks, 14 floors below. <laughs> now when these bricks had fallen from the barrel to the floor, I then outweighed the barrel and started down once more. Still holding tightly to the rope, my body racked in pain. Oh. And halfway down I met that blooming barrel once again. Well, the force of this collision halfway down the office block caused multiple abrasions and a nasty state of shock. Still holding tightly to the rope, my body racked in pain. I landed on the broken bricks, the barrel scattered round. Oh. As I lay there groaning on the ground, I thought I'd pass the worst. But the barrel hit the pulley wheel, which made the bottom burst. A shower of bricks fell down on me, I didn't have a hope. As I lay there groaning on the ground, I let go of the bloody road. Well, the barrel then being heavier, it started down once more. And landed right across me as I lay there on the floor. It broke three ribs in my left arm, and I can only say, 
Dear boss, I hope you understand why Patty's not at work today. You think you've had a rough day at work, huh? Oh, those bricks are soft. Remember that, Patrick, when you're getting your college education now. You might not have to worry about that. Okay. John's worried that you might find a dirty word in one of our songs. John! This oh, is uh, a very mature audience. Look songs. out there. I mean, today? There, are you are, kidding? People made there, are no, there are no secrets up here, are there? Oh. <laughs> Please. Turn on the TV or, or cable channels. Or. What, what John is trying to say is that we're going to sing a couple of sea songs to you that may, may be a little bit raw on the edges. But the first one is an old camp song, The Mermaid. Everyone knows well, that's that. Okay. That's okay. Yeah. All from McGrog might have a problem, but that's okay. Sing them the way they wrote. <laughs> it was Friday morn when we set sail, and we were not far from land. When our captain, he spied a mermaid so fair with the comb and the glass in her hand. And the ocean waves to roll. Stormy winds still blow oh, oh, as we four sailors are skipping at the top. Where the land lovers lay down below, below, below. Where the land lovers lay down below. Then up spoke the captain of a gallant ship, and a fine old man was he. Oh, yeah. It's the shame for me, as one we all bad day. Across the western ocean I must wander And where is 
me shirt, me noggin noggin shirt. It's all done for beer and tobacco. Oh, the front it is all tore, the buttons are all whore. The tails are looking out for better weather. And it's all for me grog, the jolly jolly grog. It's all for me beer and tobacco. Oh, I spent all the tin on the lasses drinking gin. Far across the western ocean I must walk. It's all gone for beer and tobacco. Oh, I lent it to a whore, and the mattress is all warm. The springs are looking out for better weather, and it's all for me grog, me jolly jolly grog. It's all gone me beer and tobacco. Oh, I spent all my tin on the lassies drinking gin. Far across the western ocean I must wander. Where is me wench? Me dog. I haven't been to bed since I came ashore with me plunder. I see centipedes and snakes and the full of pains and aches. I think that we should push out over yonder. And it's all for me, God. Me jolly, jolly, God. It's all for me, beer and tobacco. I spent all the gin on the last drinking gin. Far across the western ocean, I must walk. Don't forget the music parents are selling refreshments and chances in the back. Weymouth music parents selling chances back there. And Charlie. Yeah. <laughs> A little song now. I'm going to ask Billy to st step up to his uh, Hammond dulcimer here. Hey, Bill, I think you got a hammer dulcet of a fan club out here. But uh, we're going to do a song now that's uh, called The West Country Ladies. Uh, we uh, stole it, from, uh, borrowed it from the uh, uh, famous uh, Joel Henry uh, group. And uh, we'd like to do it now for you. For to take time to wander across the main bridge to the north side and yonder. If you look along to the west, there's a chance to see her move down to the bridge for the dance. And she still hears the music of Anglin's song. She still looks to nature to lay out the law. She's a West Country lady from back in the past, and she faces the ocean where noisy waves blast on the rocks. And the wind blows a gale from all quarters Summer sun sparkles on still waters down in the bay She was there when they came on that very first ship She saw how the Admiral ruled with a whip She's worked with her man and her young sons and daughters To harvest the land and the woods and the waters and often with sadness she looks to the sea For the longing for times that were never to be She's a West Country lady from back in the past And she faces the ocean where noisy waves 
blast on the rocks, and the wind blows a gale from all quarters. Summer sun sparkles on still waters down in the bay. Oh, the sea is a way between island and nation. The old ways and new ways. The best planter station. She watches the changes with pride and some sorrow. The old ways remain. And she hopes that tomorrow she'll kindly attend to the bountiful sea where the land and her people will one day be free. She's a West Country lady from back in the past. And she faces the ocean where noisy waves blast on the rocks. And the wind blows a gale from all quarters. Summer sun sparkles on still waters down in the bay. West Country lady from back in the past And she faces the ocean where noisy waves blast on the rocks And the wind blows a gale from all quarters Summer sun sparkles on still waters down in the bay She's a West Country lady from back in the past And she faces the ocean where noisy waves blast on the rocks And the wind blows a gale from all quarters What's the real title of that one? Tell us the golden slippers, of course. Yeah. yeah. We want to do a nice ballad for you. And we're going to ask Bobby McDonough to get his little guitar out here. How's that guitar been behaving, Bobby? All right? <laughs> it took a tumble a little while ago, and it, uh, it was as if a child fell. <laughs> Nine one one. Sainted child. <laughs> yeah, we had the uh, guitar ambulance pull up. We've all debated this fact that the house catches fire. Which, what do we grab first, the children or the guitars? We're not oh, the instruments, but uh, <laughs> it's a no-brainer. It's the guitar. <laughs> the guitar first. Right? <laughs> Uh, the song is called The Fields of Athenry. Athenry is a little village outside of Galway. And in the, uh, during the famine, uh, many people were caught stealing food. And they got transported to Australia for doing so. This is a story about a young man who suffers that fate. Sending you away. Oh, 
you stole through Belgium's corn That the young white see the morn Now a prison ship lies waiting in the bay next song for children of all ages. This is an Irish, pseudo-Irish song, I guess we might call it. It was written by a fine Irishman named Shel Silverstein down in New York City. Some of you might recognize the uh, chorus of this. Here's one of our most loyal fans running in front of the stage uh, as, as we speak here. He couldn't take it any longer. <laughs> the, the more discerning. <laughs> Some of our most loyal fans are under the age of five. I don't know if that says anything about our music, but um, but you all know the chorus to the unicorn song. I know you do. All right, if you don't know the uh, gestures, you know, that go along with the unicorn, please do them. Because we have uh, we have a, a really uh, large, vast expanse of uh, potential unicornists out here. Seen. They're running around free while the earth was being born. 
the loveliest of all was a unicorn. There were green alligators and long neck beasts, some monkey back handles and some chimpanzees. Cats and rats and elephants, but sure as you're born, the loveliest of all was the unicorn. See a unicorn until this very lovely Thursday. Only Thursday. In Weymouth. But, but you'll see green alligators and long neck geese. Some humpty back camels and some chimpanzees. Cats and rats and elephants, but sure as you're born, they're never gonna see your group right over here doing all the little uh, antics for the uh, unicorn. Hey, they were right in too. Yes, indeed. We're, we're going to take, uh, after this next song, a very short break uh, just to uh, retune. And uh, as usual, we, we do have some tapes with us. They're the same tapes that we've been selling for the last few years. So I know many of you <laughs> probably have worn them right out, but uh, they're still only five bucks. Not bad. Boy, that's not and, bad. Uh, Place hasn't right? worn out. That's right. And uh, blue light special tonight, two for ten, three for fifteen. Yeah, yeah, we can get a deal like that. If you want a hundred, yeah. if you want a hundred, Bobby, that's uh, uh, that's that's got a little too high for me now. But, uh, I'm sure we can figure it out. That's why I'm teaching English, by the way. We got a pencil. Thank God it's not math. All right. Billy's going to sing an Irish song at the party, of course. We had several uh, departures from Ireland. This ship it sails in a half an hour to cross the boat Atlantic. My friends are standing on the quay with grief and sorrow frantic. And I'm just about to sail away on the good ship Dan O'Leary. And the anchor's away and the gangway's up. I'm leaving tip of the eddy. Cross with my makers in my pads in my head and belly. And the anchor's away and the gangway's up. I'm leaving tip of the eddy. And now the steam is blowing off. I have no more to say. I'm bound for New York City, boys, 3,000 miles away. Hey, Willie. My poor 
See you in about 10 minutes, no more than 10 minutes. We'll be back up to uh, one short set to finish up here. Thank you. Thank you. 
Corey, how about that song about your grandfather? The one, no, no, the one who went to, uh, the one who went down, uh, to, uh, down under to Australia. Oh, well, we got that on there too, right? This is John Green's favorite song, so that's why we're doing it. By the way, before Billy begins this song here, right? I thought I'd introduce the band, and um, you know, we we've been together for 25 years or something like that. We we, we lost count a while back, but uh, to my far right, uh, man of many instruments, Billy Martin, T.C. Aaron Weymouth, Weymouth High School. Next to him, uh, all the way up from uh, County Plymouth, is uh, bass player Paul Egan. Thank you, Many of those uh, beautiful uh, harmonies that you hear. Uh, Thank you. In the middle, uh, the man of the whistle and the flute, fine baritone voice, John Green. Retired teacher, he's uh, no longer answering the bell here, but uh, still a lot of friends Thank in the you. audience. Thank you, Quack. Premiero Valadero here to my right. The man with the bow run here, the drum from where is that? Tipperary, Bobby, or is that uh, Tipperary? Turles. Yeah. Uh, is Bobby McDonough? And last but not least, retired. Our guitar player down on the left, uh, man who has dedicated many years to teaching this town. Also, Mr. George Giorsi. Thank you. Sweet all. Every Irish band needs a good Italian to keep it together. You betcha. <laughs> we're gonna get one as soon as we can. As soon as we can find one, we're gonna get one. Well, this song is about an Australian, I'm sorry, an Irish immigrant who immigrated to Australia in search for gold, elusive gold. He found it but drank up all the profits. So he ends up in the soup kitchen, like something akin to Pine Street. My favorite song is about my grandfather. I think that's the Tucker Strip, isn't it, Bill? Yeah, they call it the Tucker Strip, right? Black thorn in me hand. Yes, 
a nice Lovely waltz. Uh, we'll make this a lady's choice. Uh, come up and use the dance floor. This is uh, Be careful of the parquet out front yeah. here. It's uh, just been vanished, so we want to make sure that nobody falls and slips. There's a tune called uh, Take, Take Me Back to Mail.
Uh, beautiful mayo. 